guys, I'm Pixel Dan. And I'm Stina. And it is day 11 of Advent Calendar Minifigure Madness. Woo! 11 Woo! days. So, last two days in a row, we keep getting comments asking if we're really tired. Apparently, we look really tired to people. Well, <laughs> well we do have to do this after our son goes to bed. That's true. We do kind of do this late at night so it's ready to go for the next morning for you guys to watch. And I'm always tired, honestly. I just don't sleep a lot. <laughs> I'm way too busy doing everything. Everything! So, yes, we're tired. I'm sorry. I hope we're, you're still enjoying this. Like, I hope we're not just like, uh, zombie event <laughs> calendar. Our son is in the moving movement now. We have to walk him oh everywhere. Oh my gosh, so. he is exhausting. He wears us out for sure. <laughs> this is just the beginning. I know. <laughs> I can only imagine what he's going to be like when worse. he's by, walking by himself. It's going to get worse and worse. All right, guys. Well, hey, if this happens to be the first time that you're joining us for Advent Calendar Minifigure Madness, essentially what we're doing is we're coming to you every single day from now through Christmas to count down to the holiday by opening up some cool toy-related Advent calendars. Uh, this year we are opening up the 2014 LEGO Star Wars calendar, the Playmobil Dragon calendar, which is my personal favorite so far, and what we got over here? The Wow Wonderland and Littlest Pet Shop. Excellent! So we're opening up toy advent calendars, uh, we open up fan packages that we receive when we get them, and of course, everybody's favorite part of the episode, we celebrate Creepy Santa. Um, but before we dive into all that, as always, I do want to take a brief moment to thank our good friends over at 80stees.com who always supply us with some awesome new t-shirts to wear right here on Blind Bag Minifigure Madness, like that sweet Bambi shirt that Steena's got on today. I love it. Very cool stuff. Um, anything that's like Disney related or pop culture related or 80s cartoon and movie related, they've got sweet apparel over at 80stees.com. So go check that out. And also be sure to check out the official Pixel Dan store, which is now open for business. You can follow the link in this video description, and that way you can pick up yourself some cool Pixel Dan t-shirts and stickers, and give everybody a Merry Christmas. All right, so that being said, uh, I gotta say, we finally got a few pi pictures of like right. creepy Santas and eyeball ornaments. And once we put those couple pictures up, suddenly we open the floodgates. <laughs> and now I have so many emails of people sending in pictures. So I guess you guys were just waiting for somebody else to do it. And you once they did it, first. yeah. So now we have a ton of them. So we're going to kind of go through them a couple an episode and do our best to kind of space them out. So if you've sent me something and you don't see it today, keep watching. We'll definitely get to uh, everything that's sent to us as long as it fits our guidelines. So with that being said, it's Creepy Santa time! There he is. Creepy Santa, everybody. Alright, so the first one comes from Chris, uh, who goes by the username RKO Lemonjack. He's actually been a long time viewer, he's been posting comments on videos for a long time. One of those screen names that I recognize. And he says, Hey Dan. Just been catching up on Advent Calendar. I've enjoyed listening to you and Stina open up your blind bags and the calendars. This picture was from 1983. I was almost two years old. I loved my creepy Santa. He would be by my side from the time we took down all the Christmas decorations to when we put them away. I'd even bring him to bed with me like a stuffed doll. If I recall correctly, my mother actually had to buy a replacement because he stopped working. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and Stina. And as you can see, it is the exact same as my creepy Santa. I'm not the only one who has a love for this thing. See? I would like to point out that in this picture, this looks like a nice creepy Santa, where this one's just plain creepy. Oh, well, to be fair, it's like 1983. He's brand new right there. Like, that, it's a new Santa. Well, that was what makes him creepy. Why is he he's, so creepy? Well, What's wrong with him? He's I, I don't know, matted. No, he's just perfect. Dirty. Look, he shows a lot of love. I loved him. He's a like just like just like RKO Lemonjack. He was he was my buddy every time I pulled him out at Christmas. I have a buddy too. Just <laughs> not the creepy Santa. Well, that's awesome, Chris. Thank you for sharing your creepy Santa. Uh, the next one we have comes from <laughs> user. Was... Yep, uh, C Ives is who it's from, and it says, "Hi, Pixel family. Here is our Douglas fur. He used to scare the kids." 
Now they love him. Happy Christmas from the Ives family in the UK. I just think it's awesome. This is hilarious. It's like a, a little Christmas tree, or it's a Christmas tree that's got eyes and a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. I love it. And it kind of like, just because of the hole right there, it looks like it's a nose yeah. at the same time. I could see how that could be a little creepy for some smaller kids, yeah. but it is pretty hilarious. It's awesome. I like it. Very, very cool. Thanks, Ives family. All right, so this is the last one for today. Uh, this, I guess, kind of falls under the oddball ornaments thing, uh, but he wanted to share. This is from John. He says, I just finished watching episode 9 of this year's Advent Calendar, Minifigure Madison, and decided to submit this photo of a decoration on our tree. Now, I know you're not looking for submissions of pop culture or Hallmark decorations, but this one is a little more oddball than some. My wife, Diane, bought this for me on our first or second Christmas together. When she bought it, it had all four wheels. A year or two later... Uh, the left front tire broke off, and we're not exactly sure how, but we loved it even more because of it. <laughs> We've been married eight years now, and no other damage has shown up on the ornament. Merry Christmas, and I hope more disgruntled stormtroopers show up in your calendar. <laughs> so it's like a Batmobile missing its front wheel, and it made them love it more. So I yes. guess it's got a special story yes. behind it, and that's pretty it's cool. It's their special odd story. Absolutely. Well, thank you, John and Diane, for sending that in. And to everybody who has submitted pictures, uh, Creepy Santa thanks you with uh, the ringing of his creepy bell. Do it, Santa. There it is. You have to wait for it sometimes. Creepy Santa rings his bell when he wants to ring his bell. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll definitely get to more of those pictures as we continue on with the series, but for now, it's time to open up some advent calendars. Let's do it. So we're on day 11, and I'm going to start with my Lego Star Wars calendar here. And you're going to start with a little pet shop? Yep. I, I got to tell you, um, one thing, the commenters and the viewers are really starting to hate the Lilith's Pet Shop calendar. They say it's getting cheaper and cheaper by the day because you're getting things like paper trees and stickers and stuff. So well, they're probably not going to be too happy about this one because it's an itty bitty little box. Oh, it's an itty bitty one today. If we we should take a vote like towards the end, but so far the consensus seems to be that Wow Wonderland is the best calendar and that the Playmobil is right alongside it as like yep. second best or tied for first. Um, but I think a lot of people are hopeful that the Lego Star Wars one is going to like really up its game yeah. towards the end. But this one is not a favorite of our viewers right now. Well, this one this time it's not a uh, paper well that's good i've got two little cups Ooh, i got a figure speaking of upping the game <laughs> lego sent me a figure today i got two little cocoa cups two little See, cocoa that cups. must mean that means i have three so that means that she must be getting friends oh she must be getting friends because you have she, three now, now I have well three. and we know that there's going to be um three pets yeah. because it does say so on the box so today I got a TIE Fighter pilot, but I do think this is funny because it does appear I've got another disgruntled little guy. <laughs> he looks quite angry. He's probably upset that this little uh, clone trooper guy down here has Coco and he doesn't. But that's okay. We'll cover him up with a sweet little helmet. There we go. There's my little pilot. I love it. So I've got um, four minifigures now from the LEGO one if you count the Super Battle Droid. Three standard minifigures, but... I think the Super Battle Droid counts. I have I have four minifigures so far. I think that's pretty good. Four minifigures, four micro ships, uh, two cannons and a weapons rack is what's come out of the Lego calendar so far. That's pretty good. I think that's awesome. Now, I would also like to point out that this is for little girls, and little girls like accessories. Okay. Little girls like accessories for their little figures. <laughs> Uh, oh, speaking of weapons racks, this is something else that viewers pointed out to me that I can't believe I didn't realize. Those staffs are supposed to go on this weapons rack like this. From the Playmobil one, uh, I got those two staffs yesterday, yep. and I didn't, I don't know why it didn't cross my mind, but those plug onto the back of the weapons rack that I already have. Mm -hmm. So, that's why I got those yesterday, because it was completing the weapons rack yep. that so, I had opened up a couple so days ago. So, this is done. Today, that you means, must be getting another figure. That's right. Today, I must be moving on to something new now that that... Oh, no! I just knocked everybody down. Lego uh, fail. Lego fail. Lego fail. Well, why don't you go ahead and jump into Wild Wonderland, and I'll jump into Playmobil, and we'll see what we Number got here today. 11, where are... There you are. Oh, here's 11 on mine. Ah, it is not a figure. 
I got a figure. Well, I got a little cool dude oh, with man. sunglasses. But you get a figure like every day. Oh, I love his sunglasses. <laughs> it's with, me. With his hoodie? It's Pixel Dan. <laughs> Hold on, you gotta show that everybody that's Pixel Dan. That one, the other one could be Steena, except she's blonde instead of redhead. Oh, man. What do we got here? Oh, Pixel Dan. How do I put this together? I'm gonna have to... Okay, I see. So this goes... Number 11, and he sits at the table with the teddy bear here. and the little girl. And this goes here? I got a little cannon today. Oh, I see. This way. Got it. And plug this onto here. And we get this on here. Does it actually shoot? I don't... It doesn't look like it. I wonder if these don't have firing parts because they're for smaller kids. Probably not. Yeah, it doesn't look like it fires. Um, Are you sure? There's nothing to, like, launch it. And there's no uh, spring inside or yeah. anything like that. So I think it just goes in there. But I got a little cannon. So once again, this one dude has so many weapons. He is he's, just he's armed prepared. armed to the teeth for when this dragon shows up. Now I got a sweet little cannon for him. But it's pretty fun. I still love everything. There's got to be more figures coming at some point. I figured there'd be one right now. Oh, it's got to be coming. I think we're getting some cool stuff with it, though, and I love the little backdrop and everything. So, Yours is still awesome. You get a toy every day. I do. You get a toy every day. That's great. Well, hey, there you go, guys. That right there will complete day 11 of Advent Calendar Minifigure Madness. Thanks, to everybody, for joining us for another day, and we'll be back right here tomorrow for another installment. So until then, I'm Pixel Dan. And I'm Stina. Happy holidays, my friends.